U.S. and Iran are walking to the brink of war. In a serious escalation, Iranian proxies launched a massive attack on a U.S. airbase in Iraq over the weekend. Dozens of ballistic missiles were intercepted by anti-air systems, but some still hit the base, with several U.S. soldiers getting evaluated for traumatic brain injuries from the attack and at least one Iraqi soldier being wounded. Also, you have the U.S. now crafting plans for a sustained military campaign on the Houthis, another Iranian proxy, and it's called Operation Poseidon Archer. They also say there's no end date for the operation, but that it won't stretch on for years like Iraq and Afghanistan. One U.S. official saying we're not invading Yemen, but added that they need to destroy their capabilities. Also, the European Union has reached an agreement in principle to launch a military operation on the Houthis in an effort to protect shipping, with one official saying we are not fighting piracy here. We are fighting a much more complex thing, a non-state actor with hybrid fighting abilities. This is necessary for our security. Meanwhile, the U.S. Navy says Iran is very directly involved in the Houthis' attacks on U.S. ships. And all of this is sadly the two missing Navy SEALs have been declared deceased after a 10-day search for them off the coast of Somalia.